And we are tracking more rain in the triangle tonight. It has been a wet weekend for central North Carolina, and people are starting to clean up from yesterday's torrential downpours. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Maggie Newland. Hey, everybody. I'm Russ Bowen. Saturday's heavy rain certainly caused some flooding that washed out roads and damaged buildings as well. CBS 17 Zach Dahlheimer is in the weather beast tonight in Wake County, and Zach, still quite a few roads closed where you are. Yes, indeed, Maggie. And in fact, we're, sta we're sitting, in fact, in front of one right now, Mitchell Mill Road. I'm going to go ahead and show the rooftop cam here. It's zoomed in. You can see just the damage left by the water from uh, washing out this road yesterday. Our photographer, Marcus, and I were out here yesterday and saw as this water was just gushing over this road. You can see uh, also some brush over to the left. I'm going to go ahead and pan over here. Uh, some It looks like some debris is bunched up over on the left and a utility line seems to still be dangling on top of that brush similar to what we saw yesterday uh, and I can tell you as well too we're sitting in the weather beast right now in front of road closed signs barricades I've also got this taped up right here we've seen a lot of taped off roads around this area of Northeast Wake County in fact Marcus and I came upon an area of Highway 96 near Martin Road a couple of NC DOT workers told me on the ground there that they were fixing the road after the rain this weekend. Again, we've seen lots of roads closed, some washed out. People out here actually yesterday on Mitchell Mill Road were stopping by to take pictures, but also had to find a different way to get home or to get in general where they're going. People who have lived here, one person that, that would lived here for 45 years told me that he's never seen flooding like this, especially in this part of Wake County. Now, an important thing to note that NCDOT officials tweeted out earlier to be careful around any roads that are still closed, such as this one here, and to not go around any barricades or drive in standing water. Live in the Weather Beast here in Wake County, I'm Zach Dahlheimer, CBS 17 News. Zach, thanks for that update. And that's not the only area that's had problems. Look at this. Zebulon Police posted these photographs of Little River Park. This is yesterday. You can see that road completely covered in water. And here's a picture from earlier today. Police say Little River Park still closed and remind people to not drive around those barricades. Maggie, it's a reminder.